So you're thinking about moving to the city of Fairfax, but you'd kind of like to know a little bit more about the area before you decide to make that big move. Well, in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to be covering. We are going to take you to three different houses in three different neighborhoods at three different price points to give you an idea of what may fit into your budget. And be sure to stick around to the end because we're gonna be stopping off in the heart of downtown Fairfax to give you an idea of what that area looks like. If this is your first time on the channel and you wanna know everything there is about living, eating, sleeping, working, and playing in Northern Virginia, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell for notifications so that you'll be the first to know when a new video is uploaded each and every week. My name is Amanda and the team and I get calls every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Northern Virginia and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and we'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to Northern Virginia. So as I mentioned today, we are doing a vlog of the city of Fairfax, a very popular place to call home in Northern Virginia. Right now, I am here in Fair City Mall, which is one of the most popular shopping centers in the area. You've got your grocery store, you've got your retail, you've got dining. Anything that you could possibly want if you're living in the city of Fairfax is within five to 10 minutes. So without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna head to our first house. For our first stop in the city of Fairfax, we are in the Westmore neighborhood, and this home behind me was built in 1952. It has three bedrooms, one full bath, about 1,200 finished square feet, and it's on a 0.17 acre lot. We are just about a mile outside of downtown city of Fairfax, so you're very close by to all of the activities, the festivals, the shopping, and the dining but you're a little more removed from the hustle and bustle. This is a very quiet neighborhood. You are also nearby Vienna Metro. It's less than five miles away. So great location if you are looking for use of public transportation. You are nearby George Mason University, minutes to 66 and to 495. Fantastic location in this neighborhood. The homes are older here, which is fairly normal for the city of Fairfax. There is some newer-ish construction and some enclave neighborhoods that um, pop up that are new construction, but that's more rare than the older homes built between anywhere between the 50s and the 70s is the majority of the homes in the city of Fairfax. We'll drive you around the neighborhood and then we'll see you at our next stop. For our second stop, we are in the Madison Muse neighborhood, right in the heart of downtown Fairfax City. And this town home that we're coming up here on my right was built in 2012, has four bedrooms, three full bathrooms, 2,702 square feet. It also has a two car garage and it's listed at 850,000. This is also a smaller neighborhood, but talk about amazing location. You can go not even a block up the street to Ham Rocks, a very popular restaurant in downtown Fairfax and have a nice meal there. You're also only about four miles to Vienna Metro. So if you're looking to have access to public transportation, this really makes it easy. There's a queue bus stop, not even a block down the street from here. 
It's just a wonderful location. We will drive you around the neighborhood a little bit like we normally do, and then we'll see you at our next stop. For our last stop, we are in the Maple Trace neighborhood, which is a small enclave of single family homes. There's about 19 single families in this neighborhood. We are just off Little River Turnpike. This is a fantastic location. You're just a couple minutes to Fair City Mall where you can have shopping and dining, a couple minutes to Trader Joe's. You're close to Fairfax Ice Arena. You are also just minutes to Woodson High School. So fantastic location. These homes are on the newer side compared to the majority of the city of Fairfax. Um, this particular one right behind me was built in 2001. Four bedrooms, four and a half baths. It's on a 0.11 acre lot and it has 4,138 square feet. Currently it was listed and only on the market for five days, listed at 975, it's under contract. So I would imagine with that short time on the market, it probably is close to possibly above list price. Very sought after neighborhood because of the fantastic location. The HOA fee is also very reasonable here. It includes your lawn maintenance, your snow and your trash removal, basic um, community, uh, common grounds maintenance. So you don't get a whole lot with it, but it certainly is reasonable. We'll drive you around. This will be a quick one because it's a small enclave of homes, but we'll sh still show you the neighborhood. And then we've got one more stop to show you around downtown Fairfax City. last stop on our vlog in the city of Fairfax we are coming to you from Old Town Square right in the heart of downtown Fairfax City and I'm gonna turn around here so you can see right behind me is the city of Fairfax library um, great options they have great offerings for the kiddos if you want to get them into some classes there and then directly behind me this is the intersection of North Street and University Drive really the main drag through Old Town Fairfax. And the locals, it's referred to Old Town Fairfax, City of Fairfax, Downtown Fairfax. Fairfax City is separate from Fairfax. And I know if you're not a local, you're probably raising an eyebrow, but the City of Fairfax is right in the middle of Fairfax County and it is separate from Fairfax. It has its own police department, EMT, taxes, and its own structure. It's similar in that Fairfax City and Falls Church City are separate from Fairfax and Falls Church. It's definitely a Northern Virginia thing, but the city of Fairfax is independent on its own. We're right here in downtown. About 24,146 people live in the city of Fairfax. Median income is about $107,708. And the median home value in the city of Fairfax is $709,358. I hope you all found this vlog helpful to give you an idea of what living in the city of Fairfax is like. We're going to drive you around the area so you can see it a little bit more. And as always, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. We'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to Northern Virginia. And until next time, we hope to show you around town.